Greetings gun enthusiasts. In this video, we'll be examining the results of the shooting test in which we pitted Remington Ultimate Defense Compact Handgun against Remington Golden Sabre. First of all, I'd like to point out that all four rounds reached the 12-inch FBI minimum specification, and all four rounds expanded visibly, completely, inside the gel. Now I'm going to cut away the gel. I'm going to pause the video for a minute, and I'm going to cut away the gel so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, we're back with the gel block cut away. This is the first round we fired today. This is the second round. This is the third round. And this is the fourth round. The first and third rounds fired were the Ultimate Defense Compact Handgun rounds. The second and fourth rounds fired were the Golden Sabre. Golden Sabre rounds penetrated about two and a half, yeah, roughly two and a half inches. Cut away a little bit more of this right here. without cutting away some of my fingers. About two and a half inches, or about two, two to two and a half inches deeper into the gel. Now let's dig those out of the gel and see what they look like. These are phenomenal. These are fantastic, classic Remington Golden Saber style bullets. Obviously, these first two are the Ultimate Defense Compact handgun, which did not which did not come in short. They they did uh, they did they did manage to penetrate the full twelve inches. Let me get the calipers out and give you a read on their expansion. And oh no, looks like I need to replace the battery on my caliper. All right. Let's get the maximum diameter there. It's a good two thirds of an inch. The small way, it's still over six. Second one, five, seven, seven, still over 50% expansion. Six, 60 caliber. Those are obviously really, really good bullets. Now for the Golden Sabers. This is not quite as big a bullet. Proper expansion is exhibited. Here's probably the narrow way. You know, 5'3", 53 caliber, that is 50% expansion. Remember that a 38 caliber bullet is actually 357 diameter. 38 is an old black powder designation for the round before it became the modern modern bullet that it is. 5355. But that is considerably smaller than the expansion on the uh, the Ultimate Defense Compact Handgun. So it's a slightly different projectile. Maybe it's an updated projectile. Maybe the maybe the Compact Defense is an updated projectile. There you can see denim still in that Golden Saber. Yeah, no, it is definitely a different center than the uh, than the Compact Handgun. Fifty four. Let's get a little bit wider. Ah, uh, point six one. And focus in on these close. Golden Saber on the left, Ultimate Defense Compact Handgun on the right. Now you can definitely see why the Golden Sabers penetrate more deeply. But, um, if you want a little lighter shooting round, then I guess I would 
I still recommend the Ultimate Defense Compact Handgun, although, like I said, we didn't do a torture test of this round today. We, we didn't try it in bear gel. We didn't try it in four-layer denim. We just wanted to optimize the performance to see what the difference was or if we could discern a difference. And we could. We did discern a difference. There is your comparison between the Ultimate Defense Compact Handgun and the Golden Sabre. And they do kind of look like the picture on the box. That is not false advertising. That is really what you get when you go for the optimum performance again. Versus Golden Saber. Which is probably the better round overall. Okay, folks. Geographies are out.